Good afternoon, Corinne and I have come out doing some work around the property today and as you can tell, I put out some uh, ultra B pollen substitute dry for these bees and, and obviously they're using it. I've got a couple jars of uh, Pro Sweet out and you can tell that really isn't their main focus today but they are really focused on this dry pollen. Carrying it in, brood production has already started. Uh, I looked into some hives yesterday as I was doing some feeding. They are brooding up. So last last day of January, it's to be expected everything's right on time. We've got some cold weather coming later in the week. Thursday, we may see another one of those weird freak snow deals or ice or at the very least, we're going to see some cold temperatures. The long hive, we're gonna go up and we're gonna take a look in it. I suspect that the bees that are in it have perished. Um, I've noticed a lot of bees from the other hives snooping around the box last Monday when it warmed up. I just shut the dial to vent only. Um, a lot of bees checking it out. I opened it a while ago, no bees rushed out. So I have no reason to think that there is a colony left we're going to walk up there now and you're going to see whatever I see inside that hive and we'll take it from there. So let's go up and have a look at it. One thing I did notice about two weeks ago, um, I suspected a problem. I had bees outside dead, but if you'll remember, we had mentioned the queen not being what she should be in this colony when we put her in. Um, I think what happens is, is a queen late uh, in the season or a queen you don't know anything about, which is the case. This was a swarm that I caught and installed. She came out of the gate real hard and by the time I put her into here, she was starting to lay a lot of drones and she kept a lot of drones all through December. Um, so she was laying a lot of unfertilized eggs, mm -hmm. which probably means she was insufficiently bred or she was very old and was wearing out. I think another problem I should have addressed, I don't know that it would have changed the outcome of this, but I noticed some spots on the front of the box. You can tell it's here on the uh, entrance disc as well that brown I, that was happening when the bees were active and flying and you know like anybody with a pocket knife in their pocket i guess you'd say i came by and scraped all that off instead of addressing it um didn't open them up because at the point that i found it it wouldn't have made any difference anyway. It was too cold for me to go in and do any kind of a, a treatment for perhaps nosema. Um, the bees could have had some, some kind of a dysentery that was not, you know, a problem. But there again, uh, this would typically be signs of dysentery, which would normally be a nosema. So let's open it up and see what we've got going on. I'm not going to put on a jacket. You know, lots of times that can get you in trouble, but I just really think the issue goes a little deeper than a few bees that might be left in here. Stink bug made a home. This is what I was afraid that I would find. So, a little bit of diagnosis here. Lots of drones, very few workers, but I see here's what's interesting. So let's start right here and just make some room 
and go over into where the cluster would be. We're gonna kind of have to make short work of this due to as warm as it is these other bees. Now here's the, okay, so immediately, here's honey, capped honey, two inches from one end to the other looks like. Never had been disturbed. Here's a frame that I had moved between honey again so right now what we're what we're feeling is is that starvation doesn't look to play a role in their demise you saw that we had put in a strip treatment for varroa Karen, can you see the the mortality rate laying in the bottom of the box dead bees and honey these bees were clustered bees dead in the cells drones and workers I don't see the queen in this she should have been if she was in on this frame about right in here Okay, honey on here, pollen, there's pollen in the cells around the bees that are stuck dead in the cell. Okay, on the side, and I'll show you. On the side, okay, here's the queen. If you'll look right here, that's the queen. So she stayed hooked till the end with them. We know they didn't starve to death. I don't see parasite damage i don't see any varroa damage to the wings it could have been that that it got cold enough that they froze trying to stay warm we, we did have some cold nights and, we, and cold days we did we had some extended cold and you know obviously the numbers are very very low in here but see here's a little brood there's a little dab of brood that they were trying to trying to hold on to. It's it's drone. Okay, so on this side, a little bit of a little bit of brood. There's a a drone. Purple eyes. He wasn't all that far from finished cooking. More drone. So these bees stayed over here with this brood. She was here. Little dab of brood. And I think based off if you put all these bees together, I could hold them in my hand. And based off the configuration that they're in here, 
okay? If you had a little bit of brood here, a little bit of brood here, they had honey all the way around them. Honey wasn't a factor, so if it, it was not feed, I don't believe that it was mites. It's definitely not the fault of the box. In this case, we've seen the queen, they're all dead. I'm, I, I'm gonna call this a, a die out due to lack of breeding on that queen's part. She never had the population that she needed to sustain them. Um, and plus, she's dealing with about 50% grown and about 50% female workers. So it was just not a good system that was going. So if the cold weather finished them off, uh, so be it. We, we kind of saw the writing on the wall. I think I also mentioned that we would run the gauntlet with her and just see if things would turn. Well, sometimes you uh, choose incorrectly and that's, that's what I'm gonna go with. Although we suspected what would happen in beekeeping, in life, things out of our control. The only other thing that would have happened, you know, I put these bees in this box August, first to mid of August. Um, love this box, love this idea. I think everything about it is still solid. Uh, it's still going to be something I'm going to pursue to, to make work. Uh, I just have to have the right colony of bees in it, strong queen, uh, good spring. We'll we'll build up another one, and we'll uh, we'll show you we'll show you the second go around. I've got a, a nook down there right now that is just rolling over with bees. Fed them yesterday. Got a good queen. They've got brood in it now. I'll transfer that little colony up here, get them uh, situated and working right here. And I'll show you, we'll put them over in this long hive and, and we'll go at this again. We're not giving up. So thanks for watching. Like us, subscribe, give me some comments. Let me know what you think about this. Um, and until we see you again, roll that beautiful bee footage.